Hi folks, Nathan here with the ebookreader.com. So I've been working on a review for the Fire HD6 here. That's the device I have in my hands. And uh, I've been kind of annoyed by the Silk web browser as usual. So I wanted to guys show you guys how to go ahead and install the Chrome web browser and use it instead because, uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot better in my opinion. The only real advantage the Kindle browser has here, or the uh, Silk browser, I mean, it has that reading view option so you get the... Uh, uh, text here you can adjust the text size and everything with the, just like regular basic uh, text instead of the web page so uh, yeah so that's the one advantage it has I'm not a fan of the whole big old how it takes away the space up there with all those extra uh, bars and everything I mean you can enter uh, full screen mode but you have to hit do two taps every time and then whenever you open something else obviously uh, the um, bars come back so I haven't been a big fan of this browser since the beginning so I've always used other ones on the Kindle tablets and the Chrome Rub browser does work quite well so uh, on the Fire uh, HD here with the smaller screen it seems to automatically install the uh, phones version of the Chrome uh, web browser as you can see right here it doesn't have the tabs at the top so you gotta get kinda used to how this works uh, and I have actually really like it it's really super smooth so sometimes the Silk browser it, it like flashes when you're scrolling but this uh, browser is really smooth it doesn't have that bar up there as soon as you start scrolling but when you scroll this way, it brings that bar back. And then to jump to other tabs, you can hit this button right here. And we can have uh, multiple tabs open. You can just jump to them that way. Uh, there's also some shortcuts. You can scroll going sideways uh, on the tab bar there. So like if you're scrolled down and the bar isn't showing like it isn't right there, then you can't scroll. But once you just go like that, then you can scroll over. You can also use this to open, uh, pull down from that bar. And then you can open these different uh, tab windows right here and jump back and forth between the different tab windows so that's pretty cool uh, I do really like how this uh, lays out on the Fire HD 6 uh, you do get the nice big open screen with the top open right there so you get a nice amount of text on the screen uh, you can't get rid of this bar on the right though so that Kindle bar does stay there so that is uh, one little bit of wasted space from the Silk browser when you go full screen you get rid of that bar so there is no option to get rid of that in the Chrome browser so one thing that I did notice is if you install this Chrome app on the Fire HDX, it uh, uses the tablet version of the Chrome app. As you can see, it's got the tabs up on top instead of the uh, switching through the tabs by coming down with this. And you can also scroll through the tabs by going like that. So that's a pretty cool feature with the uh, Chrome browser. And like I said, it just loads a lot smoother and faster than the Silk browser, in my opinion. So it definitely uh, adds some benefit to the Kindle. Uh, Fire HD and Fire HDX. Okay, so in order to install Chrome on the Fire HD and Fire HDX, first you have to enable uh, the installation of third-party apps. So that's up here under Applications, and then you just turn on Apps from Unknown Sources there, and then you can download it with the Silk browser and then install it from the download section. So uh, I'll have the link under the video on YouTube and the guide on my website. So check that out if you want to install Chrome. I definitely like it a lot better as far as web browsing on the Fire tablets go. So that's definitely an upgrade, in my opinion.